by the governor of Nyeri. And we thank him for welcoming us. He's a good friend of our father and mother, Governor Kahiga. Thank you so, so thank much for everything. Much. Asante sana, brother. Thank you very much, James. Asante sana, Jimmy. Mama, ito, ito. The entire Maina Wanjege family, uh, retired pri uh, Prime Minister, uh, Mweshmiwa Raila Molo Odinga, uh, thank you for coming. My colleague, Governor uh, James Orengo of CIA, you still owe me a visit. Tumesema uniite na umekata. Viongozi wale wako hapa, I have also seen uh, Iyala MP, Winnie Odinga. Uh, Maina Kamanda, Secretary General wa Jubilee, Ma MK, uh, my brother MK, na viongozi wote walio hapa, mabibi na mabwana, hamjambo. How are you? Nianze kwa kusema kwamba ningetaka ni wakaribishe hapa katika jimbo la nyeri. Na niseme na shukuru kwa sababu ya maamuzi ya muenda zake kurudi katika inchi ya mashuja. Kwa sababu nyeri ni mahala pa mashuja. And I'm glad that he has come back home. Na tunaenda kumweka katika ule mchanga ambapo kemadhi ya litoka. Tunaenda kumweka katika ule mchanga wangari madhai ya litoka. Tunaenda kumweka katika mchanga ambao keoni ya litoka. Na wengine ambao wametoka katika county hii ambao ni county ya mashuja. Niambie jamii you have totally no reason to complain to God. Because 93 years is over and above the promises of God. I know the archbishop will tell us that it should only be 70 years or 80. But Mze has broken that record and is at 92. So now, James, Jimmy, now and Guinea, that should be your vision. At 95, 100. And we must say that when we have, as I was seated here, I was asking, Nimeketi, and I was visioning my day like this. And I was wondering what would the people of Nyeri say? What would the people who come to my funeral say? And I said, I want them to say what they have said about Maina Wanjege. <laughs> that this was a man who had an opportunity to steal and get rich using ill-gotten wealth, but he refused to do that. He is a man who settled 100 million, I mean 1 million acres, but never took an acre in Nyandarwa. But what are we seeing today? We are seeing men and women who are walking around carrying ill-gotten wealth, and they don't have the shame and temerity. They continue vomiting on our shoes. I am glad the president has just cancelled and banned Harambis. But we play, pray that that is not cosmetic. We are saying if you are burning Harambis, let us burn them. But let us burn stealing too because we are also allowing stealing. It is wrong for us to keep quiet when men and women are doing what is not right. And therefore I have stood and said, I will not stand aside as you do what is wrong, regardless of whether I'm wearing yellow or not. And therefore, we have continued to say that we voted for a government to give services to the people of Kenya, regardless of where they come from. And if what we voted in must count for something. Sometimes I wonder, why did we deny Raila Amolo Odinga the votes? But I want to say here, and say it loudly, I think the Kikuyu community has been vindicated. We can work with anybody, can't we? And so, as we sit here, and as we send this wonderful man over and above, we are telling Jimmy, please pick up the mantle. Why are you letting this candle burn and go? Pick it up, and let's move together. So for us as Kenyans, how I pray that every one of us who gets an opportunity to be a leader will walk like this man has walked. Gen Z, Mko. Wonderful. Badu mnakula KFC. 
You can see the kind of leaders we have. They have lost touch with the reality. I was the first man to say that there was a problem with that finance bill. Did you hear me say it? What did I say? I said finance bill. They called me names. Spoke about me in parliament for two hours. They said I was clueless and I didn't know what I was saying. I posed to them a question between them and now. And me, who now knows what he was saying. <laughs> and what we must say is that leaders must never lose touch with the common people. Yes. Because this is a challenge we have. Once we get into our Range Rovers and the big V8s, go to those special places, we then forget where we came from. A few days ago, we were all here kneeling and begging you, please vote for us, singing songs that you asked us to sing. But when we get to those privileged positions, then we forget that. And it is important that we are reminded. Thank you, Gen Z, for reminding us that. <laughs> the other day, they said that I was organizing Gen Zs. And I said, if Gen Zs, who are my sons and daughters, come to my office, and they say they wanted to be addressed by the governor, wouldn't I be stupid not to address them? And so I will continue addressing them. <laughs> but I wish you well. I want to tell you that you are now in the mountain. This is where the mountain is. Nababa karibu mjie kwa mlima. Last time we well, itafuta watu hawajui mlima. Iko watu wanaelewa hii mlima vizuri. Come and we see that. May God bless you so very much. Asante sana. Governor Asante sana. Damu ya maumau hiyo. Damu ya maumau. Makofi tena ya governor. Governor, I assure you, we will not let Mze down. Yes. Now, I have the privilege of inviting my classmate from primary school to high school good brother and friend, Moho Kenyatta. He has a message to give from his brother, the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta, who knew my father fondly. Moho Karibu. Asante sana. Uh, God... God is good. And all the time, we praise God, I think, because it is only he who guides us in our journey from birth to death. And as such, we have to praise God always. My job uh, today is to read a message uh, on behalf of my brother, the four.